Hello, it's Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back to talk about another movie. Let's do a review of 2019's Spies in Disguise. Saw the trailer for this, thought it looked cute, totally skipped it, kids movie, eh. Nah. <laughs> you know, came out on Blu-ray and 4K, I read the reviews, they were pretty good. Yeah. Then I had points that were expiring on Disney Rewards and I ordered this and, and Finding Nemo for free. I think I said in my last review at the end I, record, I ordered Mulan, but no, I didn't. I got the steel book, but I said that earlier in the review. Weird. Anyway, um, obviously this was made long before Will Smith and the slap, so we'll review it from that perspective. This is a fun movie. If you can get into the stupid of it, I mean, it's about a spy who gets turned into a pigeon. I mean, that's the, that really is the gist of it. He's a super spy, Will Smith. Tom Holland plays a scientist. Rashida Jones is in this. Ben Mendelsohn, Reba McIntyre, Karen Gillan. Made for $100 million. I didn't know animated movies all cost that much, but I guess they do. Uh, it made $176 million, so that's a, that's a plus. It made money. But yeah, the short version is if you're looking for an animated movie you can watch with the whole family, you won't hate this film. It's not dumb, that dumb. I mean, the the idea is dumb. Get around the general conceit, though. It's incredibly well done. That was the short version. Blue Sky Pictures, they've always been secondary to Pixar. They've made some really good, affecting, uh, emotional, animated films, but they're never as good as Pixar. This is another one, although I would say this is better than Cars 2 or something like that. But no, this is a, it's a super spy who becomes a pigeon and the comedy that's wrung from that is exactly what you'd expect. He sees funny, you know, he can't fly. Um, but it's a really good 4K transfer. It's great Dolby Atmos surround sound. It's an entertaining film. The comedy flies fast and furious and it is funny. It's cute. It's it's got a, a good ending. It's got a good moral of the story. Overall, of all the, the you know, I, I don't watch as many Pixar and kids movies as I used to. I'm just not as enamored with them as I used to be. But this is one that I've watched recently that, that this rises to the top. I was quite surprised that I would pull this out when the guys come over for movie night. We could watch this. There is a scene towards the end where they're going up against the bad guy and they have to use some of the quirky things that Tom Holland's character has designed and it shoots off these colored smokes. And if you have 4K with HDR, Dolby Vision, it just, it's incredible rainbow colors. It just, wow, it just pops right off the screen. Um, but yeah, as far as these comedies go, I thought Will Smith was good. Um, they animated his character to not look exactly like him, more like a super spy. Uh, obviously, the bird doesn't look like him. I think all the other voices did a good job. Um, Reba McIntyre kept reminding me of Holly Hunter, which is great. You know, Holly Hunter's an amazing actress. So if if I got that vibe off her, Reba McIntyre doing the character that she did, it would normally be Holly Hunter in such a character, and she did perfectly. You know, it, it got decent reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it made a decent amount of money. You just don't hear anybody talk about it now. And I think you can get it for 13 bucks on 4K. Like I said, I got it for free on Disney Rewards, and it was pretty cheap as far as those go, too. So maybe the price dropped after Will Smith is not that popular anymore. If you're not a Will Smith fan, maybe you're not going to enjoy it now. But all in all, you know, for a, a, a ridiculous comedy, it was fine. It was quite entertaining. I'm glad I have it in the collection, and I'll watch it again at some point. It re looks really good in 4K, HDR. Amazing. Great soundtrack, too. So, yeah, Spies in Disguise from 2019. I don't know. It was under my radar because I'm an adult and don't watch those kind of movies, but it was actually pretty darn good, so check it out. Uh, I'm Rockfile. Check out my podcast and other uh, YouTube and other stuff below. There's some new things coming this week. Thank you so much for listening. Taking time out of your day, it's it blows my mind that you're here. So thank you for listening.